So I uh, got a couple of, uh, well, a hive and a half ready for uh, for next uh, next year, next spring. Just doing some painting. Um, I'm going to uh, see what's going on here. Check my honey supers out. Um, last time I checked was, I guess, about three weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, three weeks ago, and they hadn't... Uh, They'd filled up these uh, two boxes, nice and full with honey, but the uh, supers not so much, as in zero. It looks like there's a moth. Okay, I'm gonna have to have a good look at that because I don't like seeing moths so close to the hive. Okay, so this is not cool. I'm thinking I got some wax moss. I've never uh, had these before, but dear me. Checking my uh, honey super here late in the summer. Look at this mess. Excuse my language. Oh, what a smell. Not good. Not good, guys. So, my guess is there's a uh, good example of the wax beetle uh, moth or wax moth. Son of a gun. Hopefully they aren't uh, down in the main, uh, main hive as well. So there's a good example of what you don't want. That's crazy. I just, uh, I checked this hive. Um, probably about three weeks ago and uh, I didn't see any sign of uh, this at all so that's how that's how fast it can happen woof thinking it's gonna be a not so great year for <laughs> harvesting honey man other hive uh, that I just checked is um, uh, lots of honey and for, for them, they've probably got about, uh, I don't know, 70-80 pounds in there at least, but nothing in the top super. So I've taken the queen excluder off, but uh, that's bad news. Bad news. Let's see the larvae just crawling around here. Alright, let's see what kind of damage they've done inside. Bah!